I'm Trademark, uh, collaborating with Lloyd George on this way out for Homotopia's 10th birthday. And as George says, it's all Bowie's fault. Um, all the work in the show is leading on from the premise that uh, Ziggy Stardust came up with in the 70s of that um, one does not necessarily have to be what one has been conditioned to think one is. Um, and as gay teenagers growing up in the 70s, uh, that we found that a really helpful pointer in um, forging an alternative identity uh, so that we could function outside of straightforward society. Um, the exhibition is focusing on characters, real and imaginary, who have created their own identities in which to function, either in um, an invented world or actually in the real world. The piece behind me is called Transformer Transformed. Um, it's a composite, it's not a person at all, it's a composite made up from elements of various different glam rock stars. Uh, there's a bit of um, Lou Reed in there, there's a bit of Alice Cooper, there's a bit of Bowie, there's a bit of Billy Idol. Um, and it's kind of taking the premise to its ultimate conclusion of kind of almost like a Frankenstein creation. This piece is entitled Ashes of the New Gold Dream. It's a, one of the two pieces in which George and I have actually collaborated on the same artwork. I've taken his photograph and collaged it with um, elements to make it reflect an icon. Um, George had an, a Russian icon in the 80s that he bought, which had been burned in some kind of problem in Russia in the past. Uh, which he eventually returned to Russia um, as it was a sacred object and they were very grateful. We decided to make this piece in the style of a Russian icon and burn the edges to reflect almost the situation that's happening in Russia at the moment regarding gay, lesbian and transgender people. Um, and that's why uh, we've used the title Ashes of the New Gold Dream. It's um, kind of reflecting how uh, Russia seemed to have been making enormous progress through the 90s and now all of that seems to be, uh, their dream seems to be in ruins at the moment and that's what this piece is representing. Uh, behind me is um, three-part work entitled No Money Campbell. Um, it's inspired by a situation Boy George encountered in New York when um, a drag queen whose look was based on Naomi Campbell entered a party and one of her bitchy rivals remarked that she was more like No Money Campbell than, than Naomi Campbell. Um, Fitting in with the theme of created identities, we decided to base a piece around this concept. Um, my painting, which is based, uh, as with my usual technique, it's based on several different sources, combined to create an image which looks like an actual person, but is made up from various different sources, photographs, magazine cuttings, photocopies. Um, George then based his photographs on the same concept, um, uh, reproducing the makeup and the styling with the curlers in their hair, which we have since found out is apparently very Liverpool. Um, so we like to think it's our piece for Homotopia's 10th birthday. Behind me is a piece entitled Evolving Beyond Gender which is coming from the whole uh, Bowie premise again of invented and constructed personas, but also reference to the way society is possibly moving in terms of transgender people, uh, cosmetic surgery and a third sex. So in effect, we have um, Marlene Dietrich, who was uh, created an androgynous image um, in the golden days of Hollywood, which was then inspired 
David Bowie for his um, shot for the cover of Hunky Dory, which is obviously very much inspired by that. Bowie was obviously inspired uh, our generation, who are in effect the children of Ziggy Stardust. Um, and this is kind of what is happening now in terms of you're, you're getting a generation of people who are of indeterminate sex, so it's almost like leading on from androgyny to androgyny to a third sex, uh, which I feel fits in with um, the transgender theme of this year's Homotopia. This piece is by Boy George. It's a photographic piece. Um, it's a series of Ziggy Stardusts. It's taking different characters um, and dressing them up with a Ziggy Stardust wig and in Ziggy Stardust uh, personas and poses. Again, it's reflecting back to the Bowie-esque premise of um, people who don't fit into society being able to create their own alternative identity and in, in effect becoming whoever they want to be. Um, so all of these people have become Ziggy Stardust for this piece. Um, George and I both come from uh, a similar background, we're a similar age. We were the generation that were growing up gay in the 70s and really looked to the whole uh, David Bowie, Ziggy Stardust, androgyny um, doctrine of um, that you could, you, you could be anyone you wanted to be. Um, I, when I left art school in Wallasey, I headed straight down to London and uh, gravitated towards a club called The Blitz. Um, George was at that time, I think he was the coat check girl at the club, and he was just one of the most amazing looking people I'd ever seen. Um, and he was actually the first real person that I painted a portrait of, which he said made him feel like a star quite a few years before he actually became a star. Um, we've been friends ever since and we've collaborated and worked together quite a lot on record covers and t-shirt designs um, and George has also collected a lot of my pieces of art over the years. Um, so as we worked together such a lot we decided that it could be a good idea for Homotopia to collaborate and do a joint exhibition. Um, we share a sense of aesthetics, we, we're both coming from pretty much the same aesthetic background so we work very well together it's a very easy process um, we can kind of see what the other person is thinking and ideas really spark off uh, between us very in a very natural fashion so it's actually been it's actually been a lot of fun and um, quite an easy process to work on this show uh, together. We're planning to hopefully expand it for the future, um, include more joint works that we've, that we've collaborated on together and possibly include a lot more ephemera photographs and costumes from the time period. It's not purely a retrospective show by any means because a lot of, the, um, lot of George's pictures certainly reflect uh, contemporary characters who have very much either been around from the Blitz era or very much inspired or living by the doctrine that you can function in society as whoever you want to be, uh, which is something, along with Bowie, that we both feel very strongly in, that one is not necessarily uh, has to fit in with what society has conditioned you to think you should be.